Hello, world. It's your main man, Frank, at Infinite Red. We've recently added a feature to the Ignite project that prevents rehydrating an outdated store. It's called Rehydration Services, and I'm going to briefly explain how it works. Say an app in production is using Rehydration Services. When an addition is made to the reducer shape and a new build is released, the app will rehydrate with an outdated store and cause a crash. The solution required the creation of two new files, Rehydration Services and Redux Persist. Let's dig in. Here we have the current store on the left and the new store we're going to create on the right. We'll focus on a particular section of our current store, particularly this if block and specifically the if condition. Our if conditional will only run if Redux Persist is active. This is set in our debug settings file under Redux Persist. Additionally, in the if statement, we will configure our store that will be rehydrated. We will remove the logic for configuring our rehydrated store from our current store file and into our new rehydration services file, which will handle all of our new logic. Let's see how that works in more detail. Like our current store file, rehydration services will also configure the store to be rehydrated and will also check for a change in our reducer shape by checking that our persisted local version matches our reducer version. If there's a disparity, we will purge our current store and reconfigure a new store with the updated reducer shape. Additionally, we will update our local version to match the reducer version found in Redux Persist. Redux Persist is where we'll keep our reducer versioning, as well as our configuration for our persisted store, which was previously set in our store file. Back in Rehydration Services, we'll bring in our Redux Persist file, as well as our reducer version and store config as seen here. For more information or to see this feature in action, check out the Ignite project at infinite.red/ignite.